Welcome to the Michigan Travel Show, a kaleidoscope of stories about the people, places, and events that shape our great state. Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Well, continuing on our National Park series. Well, I'm here at Canyonlands National Park. This is about 35 miles west of um, Arches National Park. I was here years ago, so I'm back again, and we will check it out and see what all is in this beautiful park. Okay, well, we're at an Island in the Sky Visitor Center here at Canyonlands National Park. And uh, I'll find out what all is going on in this beautiful park. Well, here is the inside of the visitor center. They call Land of Extremes. Over there is the topographical map. And of course, they always got their gift store here. Well, here's one of the vista points of canyon lands. What a phenomenal view out here on this huge canyon with gorges. This is absolutely stunning. Pretty cool. And then the mountains way over there. Phenomenal spot here. We're going down here to see Mesa Arch. Well, there it is. Mesa Arch. Pretty cool spot overlooking the whole canyon. Up close at the arch here. Pretty cool. Here's the view looking down from the arch. Pretty cool. Okay, a blast from the past. Stuart Udall, I remember him back in the 60s, working as Secretary of the Interior, working to protect public lands like this. So, well, I'll have to go down and take a look at this overlook. It's called the uh, Orange uh, Canyon um, Overlook. And there's part of Canyon Lands right through there. Okay, we're here at the grand viewpoint of Canyonlands National Park as we can overlook the entire canyon here. Here at the Colorado National Monument. Well, Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner and still driving up along the Colorado Plateau. We're now in Grand Junction or just outside of Grand Junction, just past Utah border. So anyway, uh, this is a spectacular drive. I did it quite a few years ago. It's about a 20 mile drive up on top. Here is the map of the Colorado National Monument is basically a rim rock drive, 23 miles. It starts here in uh, West Fruta, um, in fact, it's Fruta, Colorado, just off of I-70, and it goes for 23 miles all the way to Grand Junction. I drove this years ago, and uh, it's a beautiful drive, uh, great overlooks, uh, some hiking trails up there, definitely a beautiful park and uh, so we're gonna go check it out and it's a uh, you're gonna enjoy this as I give you a documentary along the way and these are some of the cliffs we'll be driving along you get up on top there and it goes for 23 miles pretty awesome just and this is the valley we'll be looking down upon for the next 23 miles all the way to Grand Junction okay we're not quite up to the top but uh, this is the view of the valley 
starting way down there and this in front of us is a fault and this is how this was created it's like an escarpment all of a sudden this part of the earth here goes up about a thousand feet above the canyon here but there it is all the way down there phenomenal view of the canyon and the valley and here's all the basically the, the earth rose up a thousand feet above everything else it's called the Redlands Fault. Give you a little better perspective of this drive up here. And like most mountain roads, they got a lot of switchbacks. And then we drive up into the canyon and we go back, back and forth all the way around. And then that goes straight up. And you can look over the valley there. Okay. Well, this is the Fruta Canyon view, so I'll have a get on the overlook here and check it out. Well, there's the road we just drove up. Pretty spectacular view from here. And there's that beautiful beautiful valley. And I've went through a couple of tunnels already. It was a definitely an impressive uh, deal that took come on nine years to do this, but uh, it definitely is worthwhile and beautiful views because they built this fantastic road and the views up here are fantastic. Hey, well, they got a little statue here of John Otto. He is the trail builder, the promoter, and first custodian of Colorado National Monument that was established in 1911. So this monument's been here for over 100 years of course, they didn't build the road until the 30s, so it's just a trail up here. This is the visitor center. Got here too late to get inside, but we'll take a few views on the outside of it. And a plaque here to Stephen Ty Mather. They've had, oh, I've seen a lot of these at the different parks. He helped uh, create the National Park Service after um, Ulysses Grant started the national parks with uh, the creation of Yellowstone and Mather continued it and uh, got the Department of Interior to take care of the parks and um, and of course all the creation of the park sites and now there are 419 sites administered by the National Park Service 61 national parks. This is a national monument part of the 419 sites that they administer. And uh, over there is part of the canyon wall. And we're going to go up to the front here and see what it's like off the view here. This is the view that they have from the back of the visitor center. Pretty spectacular. Okay, time to move on. Over there where they got those tall red rocks. Um, big camping area over there. It would be pretty cool to spend a night up here in a tent overlooking the valley. Yep, this is a great park. Okay, time to go further along the way. Okay, there's the visitor center and that campground area behind that big huge mound red sandstone rock and uh, this twist and turns go deep into the canyon and back out. There's only a, it's a mile on the road, but it's just a quarter mile across that canyon. And a car just came by me. So anyway, this is, as you can see, a spectacular drive and got another 20 miles of it to go. Well, we're gonna do a little quick quarter mile trail here. This is Otto's Trail. And uh, they say it's a quarter mile to overlook quarter mile down the way here and we're going to walk down this little trail to the overlook here's a placard on John Otto who helped create this beautiful park 
and uh, he became the first custodian with a salary of a dollar a month. Well, we're going to check out this beautiful point and show you the fantastic views from all of it. In fact, we start right here. This is part of the view from Otto Point. Wow, we. This is pretty cool. That's spectacular. And there it is all the way around. Into the valley. The other point that comes over there on the other side there. The campground. Visitor center. And back around the road. That goes back up into the canyon. And back out there. This was a quarter mile trail from the road to come down here. This is absolutely spectacular. It's like a thousand feet below us. All the way along out through there. Pretty cool. We're on the other side of the point. Once again, down on the valley floor, a thousand feet below us. Right there. This is a lot of what's out west out here, especially Utah, Colorado, before you hit before you hit the big mountains. All these plateaus, canyons, red rock formations, absolutely beautiful. Okay, we already kind of filmed it from the other side, but we'll take a, right in front of us is Independence Monument. It's one of those big, huge uh, rocks out there, and I'll show you which one it is. Independence Monument is that big one right in the dead center, and then it's got a tabletop on the top of it. What's kind of cool is people climb that. They're not out there climbing today, but uh, that is a favorite spot for climbers to, to hone their skills climbing up rocks. Over there to the left is where I just was at Otto's Point over there. So, as you can tell, I was all over this area already. And we got a few more miles on the formation on the shape of independence. It was, a lot of it was because of erosion is how it was created. Love this thing. And John Otto was the first one to summit it back in just before 1911. So, and his goal was to have uh, William Taft establish it. This is a monument and it did ha happen. And he cl climbed Independence Monument. Pretty cool. A lot of stories here about Otto as he was the founder of this my of this uh, beautiful monument Colorado monument well I'm working on driving the rest of this but the sun is working its way down for a sunset over this beautiful canyon and monument so I thought I'd get a little bit of filming here on it before it goes all the way down and that sheer rock all the way along here there's so many canyons and that go in and out of this uh, monument is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely a beautiful drive. 